What's up? This is uh, Tariq. Wahoo announced two new products today, the Wahoo Kicker version 6 and the Wahoo Kicker Smart Bike 2. I have the Wahoo Kicker version 6 here, so in this video, I will share everything new about the Wahoo Kicker 6. But first, I want to talk about the new Kicker Bike. The Kicker Bike 2 is the same design as the Kicker Bike 1. Nothing changed in the design except for this little power dongle that now includes the Direct Connect option, which gives you the ability to hardwire the bike directly to your internet router for a much more stable connection. They also added Wi-Fi connectivity and I will talk about all the benefits of having that in a little bit. They also added Easy Ergram feature and odometer. I'll talk in details about all these new uh, features in a bit. This new kicker bike now supports up to 2500 watts. That is 300 watts more from the original bike. So finally, I'm not going to be maxed out or limited at 2200 watts and I actually can hit my sprint intervals kidding they also made it quieter than the original kicker bike if you've ever heard the kicker bike one then you are probably familiar with that slight humming noise that came from the flywheel i personally did not think it was loud or anything but it wasn't as quiet as a kicker direct drive trainer and uh, we'll find out how quiet it is once i get my hands on one and with these changes and uh, you might want to sit down for this one comes a price increase the new kicker bike now retails for 4,000 US dollars. That is a steep price increase. The original bike retails for uh, $3,500 when it first came out and actually you can purchase it now discounted for $3,000. Other than that, it has the same design, the same fit technology, the same handlebar, the same climb functionality. Anyway, the kicker bike should be available sometime in October. But you know what is available to buy today? the all new Kicker version 6 direct drive trainer. So let's talk about it. And by the way, if you are interested in the Kicker 6 or Kicker bike, I have my affiliate links down in the description. And if you decide to buy one using my links, it will help the channel out and it won't cost you a penny extra. And I really appreciate it. And if you like this video or find it helpful, I would appreciate it if you quickly hit that like button. It helps the channel and the video quite a bit and I really appreciate it. Okay, let's talk about the new Wahoo Kicker 6 direct drive trainer. The biggest addition to the Wahoo Kicker version 6 is the Wi-Fi connectivity. This provides a much more stable connection and solve many of the dropout issues that you might have experienced with AND plus or Bluetooth. Wi-Fi also provides significant increases in data transfer up to 65% faster than Bluetooth or and plus and it looks like the kicker uses the 2.4 gigahertz frequency which offers a wide uh, coverage area and is better at penetrating solid objects like walls than the 5 gigahertz frequency but unlike the 5 gigahertz frequency it is prone to interference but in my testing in the past week i have not had a single dropout and connectivity has been super consistently strong with that said Wireless connectivity and interruptions can vary significantly from one place to another. I've never had any dropout issues with Bluetooth either, despite having all kind of equipment in my house. And plus, on the other hand, is an absolute disaster in my house, whether I use an extender or not. So I'm looking forward to hearing your experience once you get your hands on one. You will also notice that Wahoo replaced the Ant Plus LED light indicator with a white LED Wi-Fi indicator that turns solid once it connects to your Wi-Fi network. When you are setting up your Kicker version 6 in the Wahoo Fitness app, it will search for your Wi-Fi connection. If you have multiple Wi-Fi's in your house, like a guest network or an additional extender, just make sure to select the same one you use uh, on the device you use to run whatever indoor cycling app you like to use. Now, when you are ready to pair it to an app, you will see the direct connect option and that is your Wi-Fi connection. Keep in mind, the app you use will have to support direct connect. Zwift, Trainroad, Wahoo RGT and Wahoo System all support direct connect. The second really cool thing about having a Wi-Fi connection is automatic firmware update. This is awesome because you do not need to log into the Wahoo app anymore to check for new firmwares. Firmware updates happened behind the scene overnight as long as you keep your Wahoo plugged into power and connected to a Wi-Fi network. 
if it is not plugged into power, it will check for a new firmware as soon as you plug it in and it is connected to a Wi-Fi. So it is really nice to finally see automatic firmware updates because generally most people will probably do the initial firmware update uh, once, once they get it set up uh, the first time and then they never do updates again. So they could be missing out on new features or bug fixes. Also, having a Wi-Fi connectivity enables Wahoo to troubleshoot your kicker remotely in case you ever need to reach out to Wahoo support and they need to do any troubleshooting. So a lot of cool stuff uh, here. Wahoo also added an odometer to the Kicker 6 that will track your indoor miles. This will be displayed inside the Wahoo Kicker app. The Wahoo Fitness app wasn't updated with this feature when I made this uh, video, but it will probably be there uh, by the time you watch this video and this feature will come in handy if you uh, ever purchase a used kicker from someone so you have an idea how much it was used. Erg mode also has been improved with the new Erg Easy Ramp feature. So the whole idea of Erg mode is to automatically adjust the resistance to keep you at your target watts. So if an interval has a target of 340 watts like you see here, as long as you keep pedaling a smart trainer will adjust the resistance to keep you at your target watts, regardless of your cadence. Sometimes that resistance becomes too hard where you cannot maintain the goal wattage and your cadence will start dropping until you come to a complete stop. So easy air ramp will drop the resistance giving you a chance to increase your cadence and transition back to your large uh, wattage. And the other thing Wahoo changed, and uh, again, you might wanna sit down for this one, is the price. Wahoo, for the first time in 10 years, increased the Kicker Direct Drive Trainer price by 100 US dollars and now it retails for $1300 instead of $1200. It still comes with an 11 speed cassette that is compatible with Shimano, SRAM, and Campagnolo. Other than that, the Kicker Direct Drive Trainer is still the same kicker that we know, the same kicker design, the same 2200 max watts with the same plus minus 1% accuracy claim with auto calibration the same 20% max gradient, the same 16 pound flywheel and flywheel technology, the same cushioned and adjustable legs, the same bike compatibility and bike adjustability and still supports and plus connectivity and offers three Bluetooth connections and is compatible with the Kicker Climb. From an accuracy perspective, the Kicker is good and has been good. I had a chance to use the new Kicker for a few rides last week and it was within a half percent to around a percent off from my Osioma pedals as you see in this hour long ride. When looking at this sprint, it was only off by five watts, which is kind of impressive. Uh, transitioning to erg mode, it worked really well. Power accuracy remained good throughout my test workout. It transitioned between short 20 seconds intervals very smoothly and quickly. Also handled low cadence intervals very well. I usually do these intervals standing and drop my cadence down to the 50s. Overall, it was able to maintain my target watts and most importantly, it continued to measure power accurately. And on to the longer intervals, the goal on each one was to hit 231 watts and on the first one I averaged 230 watts, switched to the big ring on the second one and I averaged 230 watts as well, and the biggest gear on the last one and I averaged 229 watts. So two watts dropped from my target using the biggest gear, which is by the way not recommended to use when in erg mode, but I like to test trainers in that biggest gear, particularly high end trainer to see how they perform. So overall, it worked very well during the first few rides I did. I'm definitely going to do a long-term uh, type review on the kicker to put it through more testing and more riding and different scenarios. So make sure to subscribe so you do not miss that video. And the kicker is known for being quiet and this one is no exception. So Wahoo is known for keeping the same design and making very small incremental adjustments to make the kicker slightly better with every upgrade. A smart trainer can have all the bells and whistles, but if the connection is spotty and you experience dropouts, 
It can be extremely frustrating. I know because I've experienced this on so many levels with so many bike trainers. Why I wanted to make this kicker the best trainer you can buy and give you the best experience possible so they concentrated on improving connectivity for a better overall riding experience. So now you have a wired option that connects the kicker and kicker bike directly to your Wi-Fi. You have a Wi-Fi option which is much more reliable and faster than Bluetooth and AND+. Plus. You also have three Bluetooth connections and that is to eliminate the frustration people experience when using Bluetooth and and plus that we are all familiar with. And the price hike on the kicker and kicker bike is unfortunate, particularly at this high price point. Here's a statement I received from Wahoo on the price hike. The price on the new kicker and kicker bike reflects an increased range of features and improvements, plus will be the first increase in over eight years on the kicker and three years on the kicker bike. Our goal is to get athletes at all levels riding and training indoors. We are committed to having as many options as possible available and will continue to deliver the best products for the best value possible at all time. Anyway, the Kicker 5 and the original Kicker bike are still out there if you want to snatch a good deal on one, but the Kicker 6 is right now the best Kicker you can get. The Kicker 6 is available to order today and the Kicker Smart Bike 2 is about three weeks behind as I mentioned. I expect it to be available probably sometimes in October. I'll leave links to where you can purchase one and if you are looking for a good deal on a trainer, make sure to check out smartbikeTrainers.com forward slash deals for the best prices out there on trainers and other fitness goodness and hot sauce. The list is updated on a regular basis saving you time in researching to determine what are the best deals out there. I actually do not have hot sauce and never had hot sauce in there. Anyway, okay. Hope you find this video helpful. Remember to hit the like button and if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.